Mohanapriya Subramani, Assistant Professor, PG Department of Mathematics from KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Trichangur. The topic is Algebra and Calculus. First of all, Theory of Equation. Imaginary Roots. When A, B, C are real number, A not equal to 0 and discriminant is negative. Then the root of alpha and beta of the quadratic equation a x square plus b x plus c equal to 0 are unequal and not real. Next we define an irrational roots. If the sum of a plus root b is the root of polynomial with rational coefficient then a minus root b which is also an irrational numbers. Let y equal to a plus root b where root b is an irrational number then conjugate of y is a minus root b. Next we define formation of equation. Let us understand the formation of equation with given roots. Imagine there are two different roots of a quadratic equations are given as alpha and beta then x2 is equal to alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta equal to 0 will be the formula to build the quadratic equation. Next we define Diminishing the root of an equation. If the root of an equations are turned out to smaller or lesser, then it is turned as diminishing the root of an equation. Next, we define discrete rule of sign. The number of positive real zeros in a polynomial function f of x is the same or less than by an even number as the number of changes in the sign of an coefficient. Every polynomial of degree n greater than or equal to 1 has at most n real roots. Next topic, matrix. Set of all numbers are arranged in rows and columns so as to form in rectangular array. Next we define characteristic equation and root of an matrix. An equation determinant a minus lambda i equal to 0 is called a characteristic equation of the matrix and its root is the value of lambda is called the characteristic root or eigen values. It is also known as that every square matrix has it is an characteristic equation. Next we define that eigen values and eigen vector. Consider a square matrix n cross n. If x is the non-trivial column vector solution of the matrix equation ax equal to lambda x where lambda is a scalar. Then x is the eigen vector of a matrix A and the corresponding values of lambda is the eigen values of matrix A. By a using a formula, determinant of A minus lambda i equal to 0. Next we define as Cayley's Hamilton theorem. The statements are every square matrix satisfies its own characteristic function. In other words, the scalar polynomial P of lambda equal to determinant of lambda i minus sigma also hold for that stress polynomial p of sigma this theorem is basically given as a relationship between a square matrix and its characteristic polynomial equation and to find the inverse and higher power of an matrix thank you